Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and today I am working on a 9x12 canvas and I've already put down my base paint. It is, shoot, it is Permanent Red by Creative Inspirations. And if you watched my previous videos, then you saw me do some black and red, a few black and red, so I had a black and red series. Um, so I actually had a thought. I've never done a string pull. So that is what I'm going to try today. I've watched Christina Welch do it several times, and she is like the pro. Um, and hers always comes out beautiful, but a coworker of mine wanted something with black and red. Um, so I thought I would just kind of throw this in here and, um, you know, see, see how it goes. See if he could like it or, you know, just, you know, just, just seeing if I can do it and how it works out. So I've got my red base and then my plan is to do um, some black string pulls, black flowers. And then I kind of thought about doing black here and doing a little bit of red and then doing maybe a swipe. So I'm not sure about that part yet, but I do have my paper towel ready just in case. So, um, all right, so I'm using the black from, <laughs> from, it's actually from, oh my goodness, it is lamp black from Creative Inspirations. Oh my goodness. So uh, my paints are mixed with low trowel and water paint and flow trial one-to-one. Uh, the water is just until I get it to the consistency that I like, which is, let's see if I can show you here. Probably not because it's black. Not sure if I can show you on the red. Yeah, probably not. All right, but if you guys, if you guys have seen my previous videos, then I've shown you. Um, so I've never done this before, like I said. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to try this. So this is my yarn. Well, I understand you just tuck it in the paint. And I kind of measured it, but, you know, like you never know. So I know I need to have a little bit. Without paint. Oh my goodness, that is a long string. I didn't know that end. Oh. Okay. Okay, ended. All right. That is going to drip. So, do that. I'm just going to do like some curly cues, I guess. No clue, you guys. Go this way. All right, 
Look, one. Oh, you don't worry. Okay, there's one. I, I thought I could probably get three on there. So, I'll try to do that. Well, I guess you put your string in, and then you try to run it against your stick. To lock some of the paint. Okay. Let's do that one. I'm going to go... Over here. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little one in the middle. Well, shorter anyway. Maybe just a little one. I'm sure you're probably supposed to do one at a time so you know where you want to put the next one. But, yeah, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I actually cut all my my yarn the same size, so So I'm going to, let's see, this one's good, I think. Oh. I think you're supposed to let them set for, you know, just long enough for them to sink into the paint. So I'm just kind of helping them. I mean, I could be wrong. We'll see how it looks when when I pull them. Ooh, I'm excited. <clears throat> okay. I want to do it. I'm ready. Here okay, goes first one. It don't look like no flower. All right, let's see how this one looks. Um,
Well. Okay, look, I got cells. All right. Um, what can I do? They look more like, kind of like weeds. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try it again. I know it's probably going to be a long video, you guys. Yep, sticking the same ones in there. Can do it. I'm just going to try to lay them a different way. Wow. See, now I'm getting anxious and I'm making a mess. Jeez. I will get it. I hope you guys can't hear my Alexa in there playing music. I had to close my door, but I don't want to get hit with a copyright thing. I'm just going to do a zigzaggy thing, maybe, that'll do something. That's actually kind of cute, but... And then if all else fails, what do we do? We swipe it. Swipe it, scrape it, you know. Pour over it. Ring pour. I always do ring pours over ones that I don't like. Or just do another dirty pour. Give it a minute. This is probably longer than what I thought it would be. So I'm very, very sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. <clears throat> All right, you guys, here it goes. Oh, that one started. Huh. 
Hmm. I'm not really sure about like this down here and down. These ones, I mean, you guys see that? checking. It's kind of hard just with like black and white. Um, portrait. I don't know why. It's kind of habit, I guess. I don't think there would be any bubbles or anything like that, so. Well, that kind of feathered up pretty cool. This is kind of feathered up pretty cool. You know what? I kind of like it. It's simple. And although it doesn't look completely like flowers, definitely something I'm going to work on. But, um, I mean, this is... They're pretty feathered. Um, I'll, I'll bring you guys up. I'll bring it up closer for you guys. So you can see. <clears throat> I do that. So when I let go of the painting, it's not bald, you know? Like it doesn't take away the paint. So here it is. And it's not completely like flowers. It's kind of soft. like it. I mean, it's simple, it's soft. It's different. I do like it though. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. This kind of, I'm going to put this over here. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, well, it was a little longer than what I had expected, but it was, it was cool. Definitely something I need to work on. Um, Christina, thank you so much for teaching us that. I'm definitely not, <laughs> I'm definitely, like, an extreme beginner, but um, it is fun. So with that, um, you guys, please uh, like and share my videos. Um, please subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.